These are the payroll settings of LMN time. Here's where you're going to set up overtime and payroll settings for your staff. The first option asks you if you pay overtime. If you pay your staff overtime, it's yes, and obviously if you don't pay them, it's no. Next question is the same, but if it, it's for salaried workers. If you pay your salaried workers overtime, it's yes, and if no, again, you're going to click no. So if I've clicked yes here for overtime, it's going to ask me if I pay daily overtime. So if your state or province asks you to pay overtime over a certain number of hours in a day, for example, eight hours in a day, I can set this to yes, I pay daily overtime, and yes, it's at eight hours a day. It also asks you if you pay daily double time. States like California, for instance, have double time pay after a certain amount of hours in a day. So if you do, you can click yes, and it's after 12 hours in a day. Do you pay weekly overtime? What this is looking for is after a certain number of hours uh, regular hours, that is, in a week, do we does overtime kick in? So if overtime kicks in after 40 regular hours, you're going to want to set that to yes and put 40 hours a week over here. Or if it's 44 hours a week, you just change this and say 44 hours a week. The last setting here is for seventh day overtime. So if you have to pay overtime when an employee works seven consecutive days in a work week, you're going to want to set this to yes. And if you pay seventh day double time, so if there's double time kicks in after a certain number of hours on the seventh day, you'll also want to put yes and put the number of hours after which double time kicks in. When you're done your payroll settings, hit save. And this will make sure when payroll gets exported to QuickBooks that all your overtime is calculated accurately. And it'll also calculate the overtime properly on your uh, payroll reports for your staff.